Perched in the Bill King broadcast booth, the familiar tones of Ken Korak and Vince Catronio put every pitch of A's baseball into words. Quickly at the belt and the 0-2 pitch on the way, swung on, hit the deep left in the corner, right down the line, fair or foul, hits the foul pole, home run, and the A's win. Do you believe it? Marco Scudero with a three-run home run in the bottom of the ninth inning off the foul pole off Mariano Rivera. What a finish. Your voice. Uh, it's, it's empowering, it's dynamic. Has it always been that way? I don't know. I'm probably not a good judge of that, uh, Brody. It is what it is. It's always been this way. Now, the fans can't see you on radio, but what will our camera see when it goes in your booth? <laughs> well, the, 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 they'll see uh, organized confusion. I think that, that's what they'll see. When, when folks have come up to watch us work, I think they're impressed with the, the dance that takes place between the partners. If a baseball game lasts three hours like they do sometimes, that means you're talking for almost three hours. Now, is that difficult? It might be for our fans or for our listeners. <laughs> it's not for me. Uh, I'm just used to it. I think yeah. one of the things is that um, I, I've tried to establish a routine during the day, and if you can't get up for doing a baseball game, uh, I've been accused by friends of, of never working a day in my life. You, you just do it. I mean, there. I, I, yes, I have stuff in front of me, and yes, I've read newspaper articles during the day to prepare, and yes, I've written down some notes, but ultimately you have to let the game come to you and let the game kind of dictate what path you're going to take. If it's a good game, it takes care of itself. You've got great moments, special moments. Uh, key moments in the game that you just let the crowd breathe and you have fun with it. When something does happen on the field, is your mind going a million miles an hour trying to figure out the right words to describe the situation or does that just come naturally? Well, there are times when I wish I was a little more articulate or that I could, you know, you kind of grasp for a word and you don't quite have it. But again, I think the main thing to me is just to call what I see. Uh, call the action as it unfolds and I try not to anticipate or get things going too quickly. And you have to do your best to try to kind of take a step back, stay within the action and hopefully accurately describe it and, and the fan that's listening, driving or in the backyard or at the house or whatever the case might be, does get a, a, a clear picture of what's happening hoping that boy, I really wish I was there to see that, but I'm not, and you're giving me the next best thing. In 2007, broadcasts will be carried on 1550 AM and 1069 free FM, giving listeners both signal strength and sound quality. So they really get to hear that Korak quality voice. <laughs> Anybody give you any feedback on, on the, the benefit of FM? I think they really like it. I know the signal is good, and uh, I know that there's a clarity. I've heard the post-game show on my way home, and I'm kind of blown away by yeah. how good it sounds. Alongside producer and post-game host Robert Buon, Korak and Catronio follow the team on a daily basis and will call every game this season. While broadcasting might be one of the best jobs in baseball, it consumes a lot of time and effort. I don't want to say it's that good tiring, but after 162 games, it's fatiguing, isn't it, this season? It, it can be. It's 162 games and 180 days, and I spend more time with Ken Korak than I do with my wife and three children, and that's the truth. Uh, that's, just, that's just the nature of the business, but that, it's what gets us out of bed every day. It's, we're very blessed to be doing this. I'm, I'm very thankful for what I'm doing, uh, very thankful to the A's for the opportunity, and uh, having a lot of fun.